how to get away with murder. Yes. You were uh, you were you were in prison. You're out now. You're being tried. I got beaten in prison. You did get beaten, <laughs> which yeah. is not fun. By a friend of mine, Yolanda Ross. I said, this is the only time you can beat my ass. <laughs> 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 oh, that is Academy Award winner Viola Davis on Jimmy Kimmel Live a few weeks ago talking about her good friend Yolanda Ross. Well, the two have worked together on how to get away with murder, but it's Yolanda's short walk for me that brings her back to Omaha. Back? That's right. She grew up here. Yolanda, good to meet you. Such nice a pleasure. to meet you. Thanks for swinging Thank by. You. Can we ask, can we get this out of the way? Where did you go to high school here? <laughs> Burke. You went to Burke, Burke High School. Yeah. That's right. You're a bulldog. I'm a bulldog. It's like the first question. Anytime you meet somebody in Omaha, in Omaha. you've you got to start school. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was in band. So. Hey, Mike. I knew there was something I liked about you. <laughs> I knew that. Was that what it was? What did you play? Um, I started out playing flute, but there were like a million flutes mm -hmm. and you know, you yeah. don't yeah. hear anything. Yeah. So then um, I played tunable bass drums, Did one you? of the bass yeah. drums. And then finally the guy that was ahead of me graduated and then I was on the tries. Uh -huh. So, that's, so you, cool. that's the band. So you right did, you did marching. Awesome. Were you marching yes. the field and everything? Yes. I love that. And, um, you know, in the parades, like uh, River, 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 the, blah, 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 the uh, River City Parade. Yo, yeah. Yeah, behind the horses. <laughs> yeah. I was behind the horses once. Yolanda, yeah. I remember that. So it's, it's it so takes funny. skills. I you feel know, like to, to dodge, right? Yes. Look, look down and, and stay still keep line. it together. Yeah. I get exactly. it. Okay, so how long you been? Are you? How'd you get to where you're at now? Because um, you were hanging out with uh, Viola, Viola Davis. No She's talking Just about you and Jimmy out. Kimmel. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we worked on um, Antoine Fisher mm -hmm. together. Um, and our, uh, Denzel, Denzel Washington, that was his first film that he directed. Mm -hmm. So that was where we first, you know, got to know each other. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't have scenes together, we met after that. And um, you know, and became friends because mm -hmm. we have mutual friends. And um, and then she put me in her film *Lila and Eve*, mm -hmm. which she and her husband produced. And um, and then just this last year, I got to do *How to Get Away with that Murder*. That recurring role, yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which How was is, so much fun. What like that show is completely it's original. It's crazy. One of our favorites. It's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. totally original. It is. Your friendship with her, because I, when she speaks, I I do not want her to stop. When she wins something, I'm so glad to get her on that stage and just let her go. I think That's she has such such an important message, mm -hmm. no matter where it is. When she's on the talk, I am riveted by her. <laughs> what is it? What is it like to be friends with this woman who who now has this incredible standing, where it's like this the entire country loves her. It is. Um, I, I mean, everybody is so happy for her, mm -hmm. um, and as a black woman, she represents us well. So it makes us feel like we are getting on that platform and being recognized mm -hmm. and listened to because we know, we all know the work we put in in this industry and um, to have the accolades that she has gotten and the respect, and it, it only opens doors for us, mm -hmm. you know, because it's such a tight group of, of people. And when you get to a certain point, everybody's kind of thrown in together, whereas we're not all the same. Mm -hmm. So she's really shown that diversity within mm -hmm. us and, and put that out there, and which is great. And when she speaks about being, um, being a wife and about and a mother. your message about, yes, a, a growing up and speaking about her family and mm -hmm. love in general, I feel she is so eloquent. Yep. I do, I have a major crush on Viola <laughs> for, forever because I, I find her to be well. such a refreshing voice. Well, she's real. Mm -hmm. She doesn't sound like it's been scripted, and mm -hmm. she makes up those speeches. They come to her, and mm -hmm. I almost feel like that is a part of her that she didn't even realize she had. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's coming out more and more. Like when you're every having time coffee with her, you don't just sit there and, and she's no, like, we no, talk about like whatever. <laughs> You know? But you know, she's been around for a long time. I think yeah, exactly. America's just starting to get yeah. to know her a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Right. Let's talk about you because Walk For Me, right? Yes. Walk For Me, play, it's playing on a Saturday afternoon. What's this about? It's going to be here in Omaha. Uh, it's about a young boy, young black boy. Um, it's his coming out story, and I am his mother. So the coming out is more to me uh, because I am not aware of what he's going through mm -hmm. in, you know, in our home and in our life. And what I appreciate about this film is that it really goes into the um, ex explaining what the life is for young boys and girls who 
whose biological families are not supportive of, of their lifestyle. And it's like almost, it's a new family that understands what they're going through because they went through it. And they might be outcasts from their families. Mm -hmm. Another, well, big change for you personally, because you're getting ready to move to a new yeah, city. Never <laughs> been to. Then in New York, yeah. going to Chicago. Yes. Shooting something for Showtime. What's on the horizon? It's The Shy. Uh, it's, you know, it's about, it's, it's start, it's with a shoot, it starts with a shooting, and it has, you know, different families and people that all have a connection to this person, mm -hmm. but how just regular people are dealing with life in Chicago's South Side. Um, Common, the rapper, mm -hmm. is one of our producers. Mm -hmm. And um, I am so excited to be doing it because the writing is great. Do you know when yeah. it's coming? I imagine next time, time, next time this, like next year sometime, uh -huh. because we're just starting to shoot next mm -hmm. month. Yeah. So you, you haven't moved yet. You're going to be moving Not to yet. Chicago. I've only been to the airport in Chicago. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which is crazy. It's Mike, a great Mike's city. been there. I no, know. I've been there many but times. It's a great city. You're going to yeah. like it. Um, <laughs> but uh, you also have something else going on. Uh, there's uh, another project, The Get Down. Oh, The Get Down. Right? Oh, my Can gosh. we talk about that? Part two. Part two. Part two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's, it's airing April 7th on Netflix, and um, it's, yeah, <laughs> Ms. Green. That's a great picture. Yeah, awesome. I, I love it. I love working with Baz, um, Baz Luhrmann, and mm -hmm. the, the crew and the cast. They're, they're all amazing. So much talent there. What do you want to do? Um, I direct my first feature. Mm -hmm. I'm working on getting the funding for that now. Mm -hmm. If anybody has like an extra million. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is, is Omaha. All we got to hang it out. At this point, I got everything but the money. So uh -huh. yeah, that's all it will take well, for me. Why that when you've done all of these other things? Well, what appeals to you? In this case, um, you know, as an actor, you can really only do but so much. There's still the director and the producers and the editors like mm -hmm. that make the story. In the case of writing and directing, I can craft that story, you know, and in this piece, I will be acting also. Um, but in that case, you have more control over mm -hmm. the whole thing. And I did it with a short film that actually Alexander Payne helped with. Uh -huh. um, he might have that million. Uh, well, he, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. He might. Yeah, well, he, he gave to my short, so uh -huh. he's a producer on that. Thank you, Alexander. Um, and that was called Breaking Night, and they actually f they screened it here. Uh -huh. yeah. In the film festival as well, but um, yeah, I mean That's it's where we're going next. Well, well, well yeah, Saturday. One of the directions, and she's uh. also doing a couple of talks um, yes. at the Omaha Film Festival. One of those tomorrow on acting, and mm -hmm. then speaking on Saturday, um, also about acting on the big and small screens. And then Walk for Me that is showing on Saturday afternoon at 2.15. There's information about all of this. Um, if you want to look up the full schedule for the Omaha Film Festival, it's omahafilmfestival.org and some information there about um, tickets in case you'd like to just go one day or you want to see all the films or do all the parties and everything that's part mm -hmm. of this entire week. And Yolanda, Omaha is very proud of you. You go from marching band at Burke <laughs> High School to working with Denzel and Viola. Yeah, I know. And Got your own stuff that you're working on. Really cool to meet you. Well, really great to meet you guys. Thank too. you, Yolanda. Always happy to be home. Thank yeah. you for being <laughs> Enjoy here. Enjoy it. Thanks. Thanks Thank a lot.